Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. Uh, so it's Monday today and it's the first lesson of us writing our own wishing story. So today we're going to have a look at the first paragraph. So uh, I'll just get the screen up for you. So you should see on the page, first of all, some challenges. So I've got three challenges I'm going to set you, uh, for you to include in your writing. So it might not necessarily be needed today, um, but it's for you to think about as you're writing the whole of your story. So, um, sorry, that's to say, choose words carefully to build up the picture you want to create of how the characters feel, what they do and what happens. So we really need to use that language um, and up-level our words to um, create a really great picture in the reader's mind. Um, so the outside and the inside opening um, to create an atmosphere or mood and have the weather hint at the terrible events that, that are coming. Okay, so um, use the uh, weather to predict uh, what is going to happen. And finally, use speech to show how the characters are opposite through what they say and what they do and feel as they speak. So again, it's that, do you remember we did that comparison, I think it was last Wednesday, I looked at the two characters, one thought one thing, uh, one wanted something, and then the other character told them what would happen if that came. So it's, it's two um, opposing views. So just be, to be mindful of those as we go through, I'll be reminding you of them each day. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, the first paragraph. Now I'll split the first paragraph into different sentences, um, because then that'll be easy for you to um, imitate um, yourself. So, uh, first sentence says, this is taken from the model text. Outside the evening was cold and wet. A squally wind howled, rattling the roof tiles, shaking the window frame, uh, and shaking the window frames of 13 Wager Road. Wager Road, whichever you prefer. So I'd like you to start your first sentence with outside. Now it's up to you when it's set. Mine's going to be set in um, the morning. So um, the morning um, light bought, uh, brought um, um, bitterly cold ice. Okay. Um, so and then with ice comes frost. So we could say a um, Ferocious, or a bit of alliteration, a ferocious frost um, nipped at the uh, trees. So remember, this is that sentence of three again. So we've got it howled, uh, rattled the roof tiles, shaken them in the frame. So mine nipped at the trees, um, engulfed the um, vulnerable flowers. Imagine a bit of. Um, Description there with adjectives and um, I like how it's included the address there and covered um, the I don't know if they covered, let's say adorned. Oh, this actually got spelled adorned today. There we go, one day. Adorned the um, window ledges of um, six dot street, that's my made up address. Okay. So outside the morning light brought bitterly cold ice, a ferocious frost nipped at the trees, engulfed the vulnerable flowers and adorned the window ledges of six dot street. So um, that's an, it's not very nice is it, a bitterly cold. So that's me um, hinting to the reader what's going to happen. So if you find it useful to do so, you can pause me now and write your first um, couple of sentences. Uh, if not, we'll carry on. So inside, shabby curtains were drawn, a humble file crackled, and a couple sat in silence. So now this is where we're going to put the comparison. Inside, um, we could say, um, it's that sentence of three. Porridge was steaming. Remember to think about... Um, your um, time of day. So obviously, um, you probably won't have fire in the morning, um, but you probably have courage. Um, 
the Teddy Vision, Teddy Vision was um, coming um, and and then you could put your character in if you want to and Joey um, struggled to um, keep inside Pyro steaming the television was humming and Joe was and Joe struggled to keep warm so do your comparison now uh, to the inside so now um, let's talk about that character again I'm going to talk about Joey so I've already used Joey's and what he huddled Um, he huddled um, inside, or he huddled under, let's use a, a better preposition, under um, the fleecy blanket. Um, he huddled under the fle fleecy blanket that usually inhabited the sofa. Mindlessly through the channels. Okay. So he huddled under the fleecy blanket that usually inhabited the sofa and flicked mindlessly through the channels. So tell me now what one of your characters was doing. Off you go. Okay, now this is where we talk about the other characters. So my character is going to be Joey's mum. So his mum. Um, let's say his mum tutted um, um, busily, uh, hmm, busily, busily cleaning because I like the I want the impression that. Um, um, that Joey's not doing much, but his mum is um, frantic and moving around. So his mum tutted busily cleaning. Up his uh, pyjamas. Um, off the... Um, hmm, I want to describe the floor. Off the... Um, soft carpet. Soft's not the best word, but I'll come back when I edit later. He picked up his drums off a soft carpet um, that was uh, stained with um, spilt coffee from the week before. So there's a bit of description. Okay. Um, and then we can talk about her mum again. So she deserves so much better than this is from our model text. So we can say something like, um, she thought about tutted right. Okay, we'll leave that. So his mum tutted, busily cleaning. She picked up his pyjamas off the soft carpet that was stained with spilt coffee from the week before. She thought about getting it replaced. Soft, I don't like. Um, soft, I could say fluffy. Fabulous. So, uh, what I'd like you to do then is write your first paragraph, um, which compares the outside and the inside and introduces your two characters. Don't forget to send them to us at year5 at bluecoatfederation.co.uk. Okay, come back tomorrow and um, we'll carry on. See you tomorrow. Bye.